Hello everyone, welcome to my Game Maker Magma tutorial. Uh, in the second part we are going to cover shooting, but first of all I'd like to change a little thing that I introduced last part. We go to Object Magma and then the Create Event. Uh, I changed uh, the jump speed from 4.75 to 4.85 because Mega Man couldn't always jump up three blocks. However, I recently found out the cause uh, of this. Uh, we originally had 4.75, but for some reason, uh, the gravity value is subtracted from the jump speed. It has something to do with uh, Game Maker's way of handling. Uh, Vertical speed, gravity, collision, etc. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know how to fix it. If we uh, just cut gravity here and put it above jump speed, that's important. Then for jump speed, we can say 4.75 plus grav. You need to put it before uh, jump speed, else it doesn't know what grav is. But now that that's out of the way, we can get to shooting. We will, of course, need uh, sprites for Mega Man shooting. So we add, sorry, we duplicate Sprite Mega Man stand, call it Sprite Mega Man uh, stand shoot, and we load the sprite. Let's see, here it is. Uh, for the origin, you want the exact same of uh, Mega Man uh, stand. So here, 10 and 8. Alright, uh, let's. Uh, uh, for sidestepping, there is no uh, shoot, so we need to use uh, Sprite Mega Man stand shoot there. For jumping, we just duplicate Sprite Mega Man jump, called Sprite Mega Man uh, jump shoot. Mega Man jump shoot. There we go. Uh, once again, same values here, 13.8. And at last, Sprite Mega Man Walk Shoot. And here we want 12.8. Alright, and finally we want to create a Sprite Mega Man bullet, another li little lemon that he shoots. And uh, we can center it, just center the origin. So now that we have created all sprites, we uh, of course want to go to Object Mega Man. And in the create event, uh, we need to add some variables. Uh, let's say is should equals false. Uh, are we currently shooting? That's what that variable does. Let's see, do we need anything else? Yes, we do. Over here, create a new section uh, called sprites. They uh, say sprite stand equals sprite mega man. Stand, sprite, uh, step equals sprite, Mega Man, step, sprite, jump equals sprite, Mega Man, jump, and sprite, uh, walk equals sprite, Mega Man, walk. Uh, these will change values once we press the shoot button, then sprite send will be sprite, Mega Man, stand, shoot, etc. And if we go to the step event, then we uh, just replace all sprites by uh, the variables we just introduced. So instead of sprite make my walk, we put sprite walk. Instead of, well, here once again, sprite walk. Here we need sprite stand. Here we need sprite step. And here we need sprite jump. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, here once again, sprite jump. And that's it. Now we can add a new section here, uh, shooting. If uh, keyboard check pressed or X, uh, that is my uh, my shoot button. But you can just change it 
do something else if you want to. And instance is instance number. Instance number uh, object Mega Man bullet, which we will create later, is smaller than three. Yes, there can only be three at a time uh, on the screen. Uh, then we introduced a variable called uh, box if image x skill equals minus one box equals b box left else box equals b box right so if we are facing left we want to create it on the left of us and if we're facing right we want to create it on the very right of us and then here we put instance create um, box plus image x skill times uh, well let's say 6 uh, I'm using image x skill times here because if we face left we want to place it as 6 pixels uh, on the left of us compared to our b box left and for right it's the same for the y I'm going to go to sprite and see what exactly we want. Go to stand shoot. Uh, let's say. So I j just change this a little to uh, test, but change it back to 8. I would say 2 pixels. 2 pixels to the bottom. So y plus 2 and object Mega Man bullets. Alright, and last is shoot equals true and alarm let's say what alarm we didn't use any alarm set so we can use alarm zero equals well, I would say 20 20 frames uh, alarm zero uh, re returns the normal sprite so we don't have the shooting sprites anymore so we're going to do that right now add a new event called alarm zero and there I put is shoot equals false. So we're not shooting anymore. Um, create a new section, uh, normal shooting sprites. And say if is shoot equals, fal equals false here. Uh, sprite stand equals sprite mega man stand. Sprite step equals sprite Mega Man step. Sprite jump equals sprite sprite Mega Man jump. And sprite walk equals sprite Mega Man walk. Else, if we are shooting, then I'm just going to copy this. So sprite Mega Man stand shoot. For stepping, there is no uh, oops, there's no step. Uh, shoot so we're going to use stand shoot there here jump shoot and here walk shoot all right now we're going to create object Mega Man bullets which is once again our lemon Mega Man bullets there we go um If we are outside the room, destroy ourselves. So at instance destroy to the outside room uh, event and copy the event, duplicate the event to uh, outside view zero. You are probably going to use views if you are making a real Mega Man game. Uh, so you also want to destroy it if it just leaves the screen. And we can make the depth one if we want. Uh, one more thing I forgot in Object Mega Man. Go to the step event. And over here, uh, say variable box and ID. ID equals uh, the bullet we're creating. And with the bullet uh, we're creating, we want to change the uh, horizontal speed to our image x scale times. Uh, let's say 5. 
So here, uh, if we're facing left, it will travel left, and if we are facing right, the bullet will travel right, uh, with a speed of 5. So now if we run the game, let's see if everything works. Yeah, that seems to work for the most part. Uh, however, if we go to the draw event of Object Mega Man, we had draw self here, we also want to do that for the bullet. So, go to Object Mega Man Bullet, Draw Event, and there, Draw Self. And that's it, I think. Shooting seems to work fine. Yeah. This part didn't take so long. Probably because there were a lot less complicated things than we had to do in the last part. But yeah, at least it's done. And it seems to work beautifully. Alright, uh, that, that basically wraps it up for this part. Next part uh, will be sliding. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.